Hello boys and girls. Just a little update on the Amiga uh, 2000 or 1500 as it is. Um, I've been fighting all weekend with the GVP HC2 uh, SCSI card. Now the, both the ROMs here I've upgraded to SCSI th uh, to version 3.15 I think they are. We have 2 megabyte of RAM. We have an old Apple SCSI drive. Now the funny thing is if I use HD inst or um, the install disk from Workbench 2 or 3 the drive is recognized I can install Workbench but as soon as I reboot the machine, it will not boot from the hard drive. Okay, I thought. Uh, auto boot must be disabled. According to various hardware uh, internet sites, there is no hardware, uh, no um, auto boot um, jumper. It either auto boots or it does not. The early cards apparently had an optional auto boot ROM. But I've updated the ROMs and it still won't boot. I've also plugged in my uh, SCSI, 2 S SCSI 2 SD and that's given me problems but I need to look at that later. Uh, it just won't boot. However, I've just discovered something. Come on, Amiga. There you go. That's booted from hard drive. How, may you, may you ask, is this miracle possible? Well, if you can see, which you probably cannot, the blue capacitor there, well, just underneath that blue capacitor, in the middle of the screen there, JP4. Now, all the jumper points on this card have no jumpers on them. And if you read uh, the hardware database, that is as it should be. However, JP4 is the auto boot jumper. Take the jumper off and the card won't boot. Put the jumper on and the card boots. It enables and disables auto boot. So the information on all the Amiga hardware sites is incorrect. I don't have the documentation for this card, but I'd be interested to see what GVP say. I suspect they will say it is an auto boot jumper. But I've spent most of the weekend on this bloody thing, and I was just about ready to give up. Um, because I just couldn't make it boot. Even if I ran the original install disk, this hard drive here has a bad sector somewhere. And the hard the um, floppy disk does a low level format before it finishes installing, and it finds an error, stops, and kicks you out of the GVP disk, so you can't use it. So if you use the workbench to uh, disk, you can install the drive as I did earlier. Uh, do a quick format, and it works fine. Um, yeah, that's about it, really. That's all I wanted to say. So if you have an HC8 GVP card that will not boot for any reason, make sure you put a jump on JP4. Like I say, I've updated the ROMs, they are no longer V1, they are V, whatever it is, 3.15 or something. Um, so there we are. That's all I wanted to say. I wanted to do a few videos on the Amiga this weekend, but I've been so consumed it's, with doing this, it's become a bit of a challenge. And I must admit, I turned this off an hour ago and I thought, I can't do it. I just can't, I can't make it do it. It won't work. It's faulty, broken, something, I don't know. But this card, when I got this card, I bought it. Um, and it hardly been used. There's very little track uh, indication of any markings on the tracks of the, the SCSI port, uh, the, the uh, gold connectors. If it has been used, it's been plugged in once and never moved, which I suppose is possible. But anyway, 
enough of my babbling nonsense. I have more videos on this particular machine coming shortly. Uh, an Amiga versus PC, PC to Amiga data exchange, which I might set up in a minute actually, but it's going to it's getting a little bit late on Sunday evening now. Uh, but anyway, that's the G JVP GVP HC8 uh, HC2, two meaning two megabytes of RAM. I think it's a series one, Scully. Thank you.